Because you listened, you were spared. Because you listened, you were spared. Welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 47, September 15th. We are in the house. Entrepreneurs, welcome. And a very special, ultimate welcome to Miss Sky from Sky's Jewels, LLC. I am so empowered that you have decided to move into your own entrepreneur work while working, while still working. And it's it's powerful. It's a blessing. And I am so glad to be on the journey with you. So happy birthday. Happy birthday. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your day. So entrepreneurs, you were spared. You had to leave the sponsor who just wanted to invest in you because they wanted you to do certain things that you just weren't willing to do in your new business. They wanted you to invest in them more or less. The relationship was not beneficially mutual. It did not build you and you had to let them go. That is a very strong perspective to look at today. But because you listened, you were spared. Your business will be succeeding even without them. You are going to find that there were stumbling blocks that were going to impact you and distract you. So you had to let go of the relationship now so it wouldn't distract you later. But again, just like single parenting, entrepreneurship is the exact same. You're going to have to learn how to nurse the baby, feed, feed, uh, burp the baby, give the baby a bath, go to school while the baby's asleep, and you're going to have to get the support that's needed, but also you're going to have to recognize that the support may not always be there, so you're going to have to be the support. Double time, over time. How does that make you feel, entrepreneurs? As we talk about Chronicles, we're looking at the highs and the lows of business, not just the successes, not just the, I got a million dollars in my account and all is well and I'm good. And, you know, I have a hundred sponsors sitting on the back burner just waiting for me to call them and ask them for money. Or I have investments and residuals and Investopedia, you know, or in cryptocurrency. No, we're living the life, living the dream while being awake, while being front and center. We're painting the walls (laughs) in our buildings to make it look nice for our client base to come in. And sometimes entrepreneurship can look like the hard knock life, (laughs) but it's, there's power in it, but because you listened, you are now being spared and your success is on its way. It's already existing. It's existing because if it wasn't existing, you wouldn't be here right now. You wouldn't be listening to the empowerment of the high and low in the mission statement that you created for yourself as your own entrepreneur, you're driving the ship of your success and you're not giving up. You're listening to people who have gone through it. So when you had to let go of that investor who told you that they would give you a thousand dollars to invest in your startup, but they wanted 85% of the profit (laughs) over a year's time, Highway robbery. And I know many of you, someone's going to be able to relate to that because people are always out to get something for nothing, especially if they see someone with a great idea. So entrepreneurs, I want you to invest in you. Invest in you. Even if you may not be able to get that original storefront that you wanted, that $15,000 a month, you know, um, near the ocean view in Los Angeles, California, 
or, you know, in Florida or in the Bahamas. It's okay. Invest in you anyway. Invest in your storefront that's right around the corner from your house that is in the hood, (laughs) that may not be the most feasible, but it works for your budget. Yeah, invest in that because it looks good to be given startup money, but at the expense of 85 to 50 to to 45% interest. No, if that money is not being residually returned to you, through an investment that is making money for you in in the middle of the night, you're not trying to hear that. You shouldn't be trying to hear that. And it's not about lowering our standards, entrepreneurs. It is about establishing a groundworking position to know that eventually you're not going to sell yourself short in the end. You know, it's just like going to a rental center And you have bad credit, so you got to get your credit restored. And they tell you, okay, you come and you purchase something from me. And what's going to happen is we're going to give you six months, same as cash. So that basically means that if you pay it off within six months, guess what? It's yours. And it was as though you paid it straight out, not knowing that they already increased the price too. They paid corporate um, account paid $500 for something, whatever item, dishwasher, whatever. They put it on the floor as a model. It's new, 2023. We're going to sell it for $750. And then you pay six months, and then you're not as much of a sucker as you would be had you uh, drawn it out over the however many years you could have drawn it out at $15 a week or whatever. So the stipulations of being careful, because you listened, you were spared. So you got your good credit, you restored your credit, your credit journey is now at seven and 90, 800. You don't have to borrow and invest in someone who's going to loan shark, you know, you are now going to invest in you. You're going to go to the bank and you're going to get a percentage of, of a return on a loan that is feasible for you, that exists, you know, for you. And the client base is going to make sure that you're able to make these payments on time so that you can then restore yourself. It's called financial restorative justice, restoring the finances to the just way as if you never used your credit. So because you listened, your investor did not take advantage of you. He did not manipulate you. He did not gaslight you. He did not promise you the world. And then you turn around and when you look, he has partnership in your business because you didn't think. Signing a non-disclosure agreement is something that is truthfully important. But because you listened... A non-disclosure agreement does not allow an individual to compete with what it is they know on the intricate workings of your business. So with that, you're able to go out and say, if you say anything about the way that I run my company and you duplicate services with someone else or someone else becomes my competitor, I have a right to sue you. I have a right, if you defame or slander me, I have a right to look at this non-disclosure agreement with my attorney and we have a right to file a civil actions lawsuit upon our business entity relationship. Entrepreneurs, because you listened, you were spared. So you haven't had an issue with the courts whatsoever involving your LLC, sole proprietor, nonprofit, And that's great. Always continue to be in that realm. However, if you ever need to go to court, documentation, documentation is everything. Please like this video. If you're feeling what I'm saying to you and it's making sense and you're jotting down in your journal and you're here on this podcast live, or if you are on a restream, please like this video wherever you are. 
it would be greatly appreciated. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. You were spared because you listen. And many people have turned their backs on you. They have decided to talk about you. They've decided to slander you. They've decided to tell all of your dirty laundry. That's why it's best for you to exp explain and tell it yourself. Put it in a, a blog. Put it out there. So they will have no power. No power to share anything. Jaguar Wright is a perfect example of content. People are making money off of her content because she does not believe in herself. But I believe it's all a scam, a skit. You know what I mean? But it doesn't matter. This woman's name should not be used on other people's platforms. But because no one is being respected in the industry of live streaming and podcasting, no one has any ability to tell her no or yes, to tell other streaming platforms, no, you cannot talk about this name because there was no non-disclosure agreement. So you are spared. What does that look like? Being spared looks like you have the ability to step over your haters, to step over your enemies, to, you know, take the same people that were slandering your name, trying to defame your character to prevent and sabotage what you had to do in your business, but you were so far ahead of the game, they weren't able to come in and attack because they don't know where to start. It's so far out there in success field until the universe is like, you can't stop it now. You can't stop it. Ain't There ain't no stopping us now. A man's gifts makes room for him or her <laughs> or he, she, whatever. Um, a person's gifts makes room for them and brings them before great men. Proverbs 18, 16. So that is validating and verifying the fact that you were spared and now you're in right company. So don't think that the people who rejected you, denied you, stopped you from being part of their organization, prevented you from uh, getting that internship, preventing you from going to that college, prevented you, shut the door when it came down to you asking for um, a possibility to be on the committee or anything like that. If they shut the door on you, wonderful. They were not supposed to be on your journey. And you closed the door on them, technically. You were not the outcast. You were the in cast. And everyone around you was out there watching, seeing how you were going to manipulate and maneuver through. Were you going to constantly reach out to people? Help me walk. Help me. Help me. I'm a victim. Because that is when you are the most vulnerable and that is when entrepreneurs, people take advantage and they will talk in a group setting and you can have anyone as far as a whole entire community working against your success. Don't think you are mentally ill. You're not. You're not mentally ill when you think this way. Because people know what they do. And you know the saying, be mindful of the quotes that are stated when it's like, okay, if everyone is saying that it is you, be mindful it may be you. Yes. But on the flip side of that, there's two sides to every coin. The other side is make sure that you understand entrepreneurs, the validation of why these people are saying what they're saying against you. They're coming up against you. They're manipulating and turning and twisting the things that occur in life and judging you, preventing you from being part of this project or that project because of your background. 
when many of them don't have a background only because they have people who work in the field that prevents their case from ever being shown that they've done this or that. You know, I looked in the rooms of recovery at the very onset of my recovery-based program life. And I said to myself, I remember hearing the ones that kept coming into the rooms. Oh, my, um, my addiction, my addiction, my addiction. They play the system so tremendously well. Guess what? Guess what, entrepreneurs? Those were the ones who always got the free ticket to ride. Oh, God is so good for me. God is so good to me because he spared my life. He allowed me to come back out and do this and do that and do whatever. And they did none of the footwork. That's just like an entrepreneur that has been given a business and it's a lucrative business, but they have no idea what to do with the business because they're not even business savvy. They didn't create the mission statement. Their grandparents created the mission statement. They have no moral, ethical standards to guide and direct them in their business. So it fails. It fails. But you were spared because you listened. That gift, that gift has made you stand out and the right people are coming your way. Not those people that you're going to eventually sit back and time is going to share everything. Time is going to share every nepotism relationship within the course of, of hiring staff all the way down to Who's going to be caught up because of some conspiracy because they're with the wrong people? I'm going to hire this person because they are validated. I've gone through the process of the hiring process. I've made them fill out an application. I've given the pool of applicants to at least however many people my board of directors feel is feasible in order to make sure that we get the right candidate when we hire people. And then we're going to have our interviews. We're going to take our time and we're going to go through each and every interview. We're going to have documentation that we've explained our situation of what we're looking for. And then we're going to do our background checks. And then we're going to make sure that our references are, you know, sufficient. And it doesn't matter about the background check as long as it is able, we are able to work with the second chance individual. The judgments are upon those who would like to keep other people down. And so to keep them down, they have to now put all this bureaucratic red tape out there in order to say, this is our protocol. I'm sorry you don't qualify. But you can be the best candidate morally. You can be the best candidate spiritually. So you start your own business. Guess what? Because you listened, you were spared. If I had listened at a younger age to start my own business, I never would have had the opportunity to be put in a pool of those who were being laid off because I wasn't at the uh, original beginning. I was towards the areas where, you know, certain companies were about to fold under, but yet they still had work to do and they still needed people. So they hired the most competent individual to do the job, but they did it at a lesser pay. So when you become the entrepreneur of the ship, you control the ship. You control the economic ship. You control the financial ship. You you control the relationship. You control everything that is involved in your entrepreneurial journey. And you know, based on 
your abilities to see that checkbook, what you have in your account, in your business account. And that is all that in today's society. So because you listened, you have now put yourself in a position where you don't have to worry about your 401k. You can go ahead and go to the bank, talk to the banker and invest in your own 401k. Based upon the work in which you perform on a daily, routinely basis, whether you're an employee or an entrepreneur or an independent contractor, you can go and you can start up your own 401k. Preparing for the future. First time home buyers, you can go and you can use those opportunities in your business to develop your life, to empower your life. And not allow anyone to take control of the things that matter to you the most. Book signings, royalties, all that. Empowering. You hold the key. And your gift is within you. They're trying to take the key from you. They may have tried to take the key from you and told you you couldn't do it, told you no one's going to invest in you, told you your credit was too bad, told you you did not qualify for this vehicle or that truck or this boat or this whatever, Airbnb. They told you all that, but they told you. But because you listened, now you have gifts and the real people people are on the way. No one else is going to stop your shine. They can't because you've elevated to the highest standards by listening, paying attention, studying, reading, journaling, ment- uh, uh, getting mentored, getting business counseling, getting what you need. And I'm not talking about that bull crap in business counseling that tells you that you got to pay a million dollars before you become an entrepreneur. Let me take you on my journey and show you da, 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 da. No, it has to make sense and it has to make value for you. You can't always be giving, 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 and you can't give to yourself to start an empowerment process. This is valuable information. And for those of you who don't believe it is, why are you still here? I see. I see who's here. Please hit the like button. I should be up on a little more likes. Just a little bit. A few more. Unless you're trying to keep this information only to yourself. Because you don't want to see people shine in a light on the internet. Because you would rather see them struggle. See, the internet is a whole new world. It is an open, vast ability to be everything and likes don't mean a thing. So if you think someone is struggling because they're online, you check their real life. You sit back and you look at what they're doing on a day-to-day basis. And it's easy to do that. All you got to do is check a page. And this is what I want my entrepreneurs to know. Don't let these people drew you down. If I had allowed these forces around me that I looked up to, to control my destiny, I would be nowhere near where I'm at today. I wouldn't be a doctor in the field of leadership. I wouldn't have had a master's degree in business development, criminal justice, philosophy. I would not have had three to four different pathways in my educational portal because Someone would have just said, oh, this is all you can do. This is all you can do with that education. But when I started my LLC and I realized that the state of Ohio told me that I had the abilities to do whatever I wanted to do with the degrees in which I had, I went to the drawing board and I sat down. I journaled myself and I found out what was valuable for me and where I wanted to be. And I'm nowhere near halfway where I am going to be. So I want you entrepreneurs to believe in yourself. I want you to recognize the value in yourself. And I want you, when people tell you you can't do it, I want you to say, wow, I appreciate you. 
and remember it. Remember the tone. Remember the clothes that they wore. Remember where you were. Remember what position they were in. And five years from that point, when you turn around and you remember, remember them. And because you remember them, you will be a success. Why? Because you listened. And if you listen to these words, these wise words right now of a doctor of leadership and international business, helping businesses all over the world, you will see that it is possible believing in who you are, knowing that you're the greatest, knowing that they're trying to stop you because they can't allow you to shine any brighter than them because they want you to recognize them. It's just a narcissistic tendency. It's a selfish tendency. My goal is to see all those surround me prosper in in a way, such a way, that every I is dotted and every T is crossed. Yeah, we may not be able to to, to know every rule and law in the business realm, but we better know at least 92.5% of it and morally be righteous because that's where the enemy finds us in our weakest moment, in our grief, in our depression, in our, our ability to be so needy and dependent that, that we become anxious and we're willing to do anything for a dollar. That's where the devil creeps in and manipulates us and things come into our mind. Well, maybe we can skim off of this. Maybe we can shine, uh, swindle through that. Or maybe we can help them manipulate. So if anything happens, it falls all back on them. No. Today is a new day. It's a new day and a new time to shine. And I'm glad for everyone being here. I hope I said something that touched your heart today. Thank you so much for being here, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing to this podcast. I did see 78 shares in the last week. So I really appreciate that. I will eventually get all my items and everything together for the look of the um, channel. And I'm going to start doing a lot more prompting. I may get actually get online and, you know, you'll see me personally. But right now that doesn't matter. What matters is the message that's getting to you. Remember, let no, one, let no one take your gift away from you because those who are supposed to be there will be there every time. The beautiful people from, the, from day one, those who really did not take advantage of the situation and said, let me sponsor and support and help you. Those people who said, I will be a volunteer and help you do this, help you empower yourself here help you motivate yourself this way. Not to come up or balance or make somebody, you know, look as though they're inferior to them, but to balance it. See, that's what veracity is, the truth. And the balancing of the truth is what matters. And because you listen, you have been spared. God bless you. And we'll see you as always next time.